Previously on Zakia Loves Pinto. Hey, go drink some water. Go eat some fruits. I want to be naked on the beach. Hey, okay, I'm a Leo. We take on the challenge. That got me ready to be a winner. That was a good workout. I didn't think that I would um, have some kind of endurance, but I actually, probably out of the 15 minutes, I ran half. So that's good. That means I'll be in shape in no time, you know what I mean? At one point in my life, at my heaviest, I was 200 pounds. Now I'm 180. My goal weight is 160. So I do have a few more pounds to get off, but you know what? That's just gonna go into my willingness and how consistent I want to be and um, I'm excited for the the journey because it's more than a weight loss it's it's a goal and it's health and it's knowing that I put my mind to it and I did it Ooh, I cut I wish I had the skills to like you know do cool footwork and stuff but I haven't learned that much yet when is something that I, at the moment, can't do? When it's something that is hard for me to understand or to learn, I'm going to keep going. I love a challenge, I'm very competitive, and I am not one that fails. I don't like to fail. And even though in life you fail at many different things, I am going to try my hardest, my best to continue mastering all different types of things. I continue going through it even though it gets challenging and I continue pushing to, to learn. You just got to keep pushing through the different things that are challenging and you're going to get to the end and you're going to be like, wow, I did it. I have been practicing doing double unders. They're very challenging. Very, very challenging. Let's see if I can actually knock one out. <laughs> Good workout. Cut. lifestyle um, hasn't been really hard actually when we did the cellular detox we did that for a month and a half a little bit over a month and a half and that was very challenging in the beginning but when we started to see the results it just kept pushing us to keep going and realistically we would love to do another cellular, cellular detox but with our current life schedule it's, crazy. it's just a little difficult to do that right now but um, what we're maintaining is this new lifestyle where we're eating raw fruits and vegetables during the week and then we have our little indulgences <laughs> on the weekend and it's been pretty good look I love food so it it's not as easy as you would like it to be i think you just get used to it and your body adjusts to it and it gets easier but you know sometimes i just got stuff popping up in my head like nachos fries <laughs> you know and then it's like but no you know so that feeling that sensation is there that makes it like mm, i'll be right back but then it's like no so yeah, it, it has gotten easier because of the, uh, of the cellular detox, but yeah. And health is a journey. It's not a race, even though I want to race to get in skinny, but it's not a race. It is a journey and you know, as long as you keep trekking along, um, you might have some hard days, but um, it's gonna be good. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I don't know, we got a lot of cranberry juice. We don't got the money to be wasting nothing, honey. You said, let it go. You are annoying. 
So we got groceries and I'm putting them up. that we've chosen is really important for us to find quality fruits and vegetables at all times or we ain't gonna be able to stick to it I mean and that's really in any kind of lifestyle if you're plant-based if you're pescatarian if you eat meat anything uh, it's important for you to be able to find quality foods that you know uh, bring life to your taste buds because you are not gonna be able to stick to it you're not gonna be happy and it's so important because food is such a big part of our lives as humans I want to feel good anytime I'm eating whatever I'm eating you know what I mean so it's so important for us to continually find quality fruits and vegetables so we go to farmers markets we go to different grocery stores I mean we go to all so many different stores throughout the week so that we can consistently have the things that we like and enjoy. Uh, how soon did y'all sell out? <laughs> did y'all sell out like a couple hours ago? No. About 20 minutes ago. Wow, I am super surprised that they ran out of oranges. I seriously love getting oranges from them and now they don't even have any. Like, they've never sold out before, so that's totally surprising. I don't know what we're gonna do. Because now we don't have no Valencia oranges. And that's baby's favorite. These look kind of good. Do you want me to some tomatoes not, in here? We're not going to own for like really specialty variety stuff. So definitely come back, check it out. Oh, awesome. Yeah. We'll give you a dollar for these. Oh, no, they are not. That's the so same. We are not the same. Oh, you don't think you'll ever feel like it's a burden? You thought it was feeling you? Your face is easier, for sure. Maggie, shut up! Ooh, I'm sweating too, so I know she hot. She ain't saying nothing else, saying Lord Jesus. She ain't know what else. <laughs>